Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning for all of you. So let's continue our lesson with module 1. The topic today is our world. So before we start, do you know what are we going to learn today? Firstly, we will learn to talk about daily routines. Okay? You will learn to talk about it. The second one is, you will learn to write about your day using always, usually, sometimes, and never. All these four words, we call it adverbs of frequency. Kekerapan melakukan sesuatu activity. Without further ado, please check your textbook and turn to page 8. We are going to start our lesson now. Before we start learning, what about we learn the new words for today? Look at the red box there. So, let's learn the new word first. Ice skating ring. Ice skating ring. Ice skate. Ice skate. Play chess. Play chess. Football. Football. Play badminton. Play badminton. Have you ever heard about adverbs of frequency? It shows how often we are doing any activities. Okay? We have always, always, selalu, usually, usually, biasanya, sometimes, sometimes, kadang-kadang, never, never, tak pernah. Okay, we are going to use these four adverbs in our sentences. Okay, later on. I want you to write simple sentences using these four words. Look at the picture carefully. It's about Megan and Pablo. So, have you ever seen any text like this before? Well, you can see it. In a magazine. It's in a magazine. Do you know what magazine is? Majalah. You know, right? Okay, so what about we describe a little bit about these two people here? The first one, can you say something about Megan? Megan ice skates. What about Pablo? Pablo plays chess. Do you want to know more about Pablo and Megan? So, let's read about them together. Vocabulary Ice skating rink Ice skate Play chess Football. Play badminton. Activity 1. What do Megan and Pablo do every day? Listen and read. Social studies. A day in the life of a figure skater. Megan, 9. Megan usually goes to the ice skating rink at half past six in the morning. She goes to school at a quarter to eight. After school, she does her homework. Megan sometimes watches TV after dinner. She always goes to bed at eight o'clock at night. A chess player. Pablo, 10. Pablo goes to school at a quarter past eight. After school, Pablo doesn't go home. 
He always goes to the chess club and plays chess. He usually goes home at six o'clock in the evening. After he does his homework, Pablo has dinner. He sometimes plays chess on his computer. Pablo usually goes to bed at nine o'clock. Vocabulary Ice skating rink Ice skate Play chess Football Play badminton Activity 1 What do Megan and Pablo do every day? Listen and read Social studies A day in the life of a figure skater. Megan, nine. Megan usually goes to the ice skating rink at half past six in the morning. She goes to school at a quarter to eight. After school, she does her homework. Megan sometimes watches TV after dinner. She always goes to bed at eight o'clock at night. A chess player. Pablo, 10. Pablo goes to school at a quarter past eight. After school, Pablo doesn't go home. He always goes to the chess club and plays chess. He usually goes home at six o'clock in the evening. After he does his homework, Pablo has dinner. He sometimes plays chess on his computer. Pablo usually goes to bed at nine o'clock. Let's answer some comprehension questions about. Let us start with question one. Does Megan go to school at 20 to 8? 20 to 8. What does it mean? 20 to 8 means 20 minutes to 8 o'clock. So it's 7.40 in the morning. Before we know the answer, we have to find out the keyword. School. The keyword here is school. So let's find school in the text. Yes, we have it here, school. So let's find out whether Megan goes to school at 20 to 8. Let's read. She goes to school at a quarter to 8. What does it mean, a quarter to 8? It means 7.45 in the morning. So, how to answer this? Is it true or false? No, she doesn't. Because she goes to school at a quarter to eight, not twenty to eight. Okay, look here. We change the name to the subject pronouns. Okay, the subject pronouns for Megan is she. So you have to remember on how to change from nouns to pronouns, okay? So why do you use does here? We use does for singular nouns. Megan is singular, so we use does. And if the subject here is plural, we will use do. Okay, so let's move on to the next questions. Now look at question number two. Does Pablo go to school at a quarter past eight? 
a quarter past eight means 8.15 a.m. So, let's find the answer here. Okay. The keyword here is go. Okay, so look here, school. Pablo goes to school at a quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. So, is it true or false? True. So, how to answer this? Okay, Pablo. What is the subject pronoun for Pablo? Is it she? He, they, we, which one? Okay, the next question is It's time for you to do some exercise. Okay, refer to your textbook activity 2. You have to listen carefully and fill in the blanks with the words always. Usually, sometimes, and never. Okay? You have to listen carefully and fill in the blank. Later on, we will check the answer. Listen and write always, usually, sometimes, or never. One. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Harry. What are you doing after school? Do you want to come to the shops with me? Sorry, Jenny. We can't come. We have chess on Thursdays. We usually have chess on Thursdays, Ryan. But today is Wednesday. So, can you come? Of course we can. Two. Hi, Jane. Oh, hi, Craig. What's that? Oh, this is my new computer game, Tiki's Adventure. Do you want to come over to my house and play with me? Sorry, Craig. I can't. I never play computer games after school. I always do my homework after school. I always play computer games at the weekend. Oh, okay. Do you want to come on Saturday then? Sure. Three. Hey, Justin. Where's Faye? Hmm, what time is it? It's half past four. Why? Faye always ice skates at half past four. Let's go watch her ice skate. That's a great idea. Four. Hello, Mrs. Carter. Is Rob home? I'm sorry, Claire. He's not here. He sometimes goes skateboarding at the park on warm days. Oh, yeah. My brother sometimes goes skateboarding with him. Thank you, Mrs. Carter. So, is your answer usually? Then it's correct. What about number two? It's never. Okay. And number three, the answer is always. And the last one, it's the last activity in your textbook. Okay. For this one, you just have to read and tick. Then talk about your day. Okay. First of all, you have to tick. And then you have to say like this, I, you choose. If you tick always, for example, like this, if you, okay, get up at 7 o'clock. Mm, if you usually, you can tick usually. If you always, you can tick always. So for this one, I will, I will tick always, okay? Play football, mm, I never, so I tick never. Play chess sometimes. Do homework after school usually. Watch TV after dinner sometimes. Go to bed at half past nine. Hmm. I think it's sometimes.
okay okay once you've done this okay you can choose any any activity that you like okay you choose whether always usually sometimes never selalu buat always usually biasa buat sometimes kadang-kadang never tak pernah buat okay so how to say how to talk about it okay so look at this sentence pattern we use i to start the sentence and then we choose the adverb of frequency for example look at number one i get how to say it? i never okay i never i never have you done activity four in the textbook this is what we did just now but you can add some other activities that you like okay so look at the first one how do we write about it i always get up at okay always get up at okay for this one if you don't always get up at seven you can change to the time that you always get up every day for example i always get up at five o'clock okay so look at the second one usually okay you have usually here you usually do homework after school this is just example okay you can talk about yourself i usually do homework after school or if your if your activity is not like me then it's okay it's up to you okay this is just example okay the third one sometimes okay sometimes you find you have take care right so you just transfer the information here as for me i sometimes play chess after school okay and the last one is never okay so here i never play football so i will write i never play football so you can add one two three i want you to add three more activities here okay for example it's now to write about kim what's about today's lesson was it fun see you in the next lesson